From a spiritual perspective, you should be really thanking God that Donald Trump won the election. It's a really, really awesome way to rate. It's a rate of celebration for all of the light. So no, be scared because in 2016, when I was still asleep and I had no idea who Donald Trump was and basically what his role was on this earth, as soon as he got into um, presidency, I literally woke up and I, f I felt so scared and so sick because I thought that World War Three was about to begin because of him being in and because of all the media and the way that the media had betrayed him all the way up until I saw him in presidency and I really hated him, I was really against him, I thought he was racist and sexist, sexist and everything else that goes with it, all the stuff the media put on him. And so in 2016, I remember having this absolute feeling of dread when I found out he was in presidency. I thought, that was it, the world's going to end, we're going to be starting World War III. And I was really, really scared, which is why I understand why some people might be scared if you really are still asleep to what's going on in terms of like the whole plan, politically and spiritually. So yes, that happened. And then over the four years that he was in, there was no wars. The economy was really great. Of course, COVID happened, which I personally think was a pandemic and possibly done to try and ruin his presidency. They tried to uh, impeach him loads of times. There's loads and loads of attacks on him even being in, in leadership. And I ended up watching this documentary. It is about the Q stuff. I'm not saying I subscribe to the Q stuff, but the documentary said that Trump was working with the military and working basically with Christ, Jesus Christ, the Spirit and God, to get rid of the swamp or to get rid of basically the deletes, the evil ones, the black mages that have been doing really, really awful things on this plane and that have been playing in positions of power for so long. Literally, the stuff, you've, if you find out the stuff they've been doing, that will give you absolute nightmares. Trump is like, to be scared of Trump, you're absolutely be, being scared in the wrong place kind of thing. So he was a anomaly sent by God with this purpose to infiltrate from the inside out. He's, he's been through all the circles. He's grown up in those worlds. He's seen what goes on and who does what. Also, he's never drank alcohol, which is amazing to me because Alcohol brings in negative spirits, it brings in gin, negativity, demons. And so the fact he's never touched alcohol for me is like, to know drink alcohol like that, your soul must be aware to some degree to, to live that life. So basically then in 2016, in 2016 when he was in presidency, he did a really great job and no one, um, and he never did any of these weird um these weird laws that people are talking about like he's gonna ban gay marriage and he's gonna like ban abortion and stuff he never did that like it all of this stuff all of the things they built around him all of these um things that you hear of him saying and like that is racist that is sexist if you really look into it you'll realize that most of it isn't actually true and anything that really kind of was true he did say something who are you to judge him? Like, have, have you never said anything negative in the past that has caught up with you? And the stuff that is said negative is nothing, like I'm saying, compared to what some of these demons and these deletes have been doing to us, to our children, to human behind the scenes, and even right in front of our faces, honestly. So he did the best he could, and he's still just a human, like he's still not as awakened as some of those people who are awakened. So he did things like, pushing the vaccine which I wasn't really in alignment with but then also he did talk about ivermectin being a cure for covid which is more in alignment than trying to um, was more in alignment in terms of just more natural remedies so I can't agree with everything he's done but God's using him and his power and his positioning and his wisdom and his experience and the people he knows and the positions he's in for the light so what he's turned into then is then then is that they stole back the power for four years they the demon cracks there's a reason why it's got the word it's pretty much the word demon yeah they've infiltrated that segment and it's now turned into a battle of light versus night theo that guy who was president for eight years he is the anti-christ and so 
the, oh, them and all their minions, you saw every single celebrity that was endorsing Kamala, they were all on the Diddy list. So it's like, you've got to really open your eyes. And just because she's like going and walking around with women and saying, oh yeah, we stand for women's rights and stuff. It's all just a load of BS and it really surprises me. It really does that people haven't yet seen that. Some people haven't. It really surprises me. <laughs> so, you know what the media like slandering those that are of the light and then um, praising those who actually are the night. The whole media system has been built and created to support the evil ones and their agendas. So when B.O. was in presidency, he was he, he won like a Nobel Pre Peace Prize, and yet he dropped like six bombs. And then with Kamala in and Joe Biden in, there's been two wars that have been going on, leaning on the edge of World War Three. Trump's always mentioned that he would have conversations with these people and that they, it wouldn't happen. There was no wars when he was in presidency, so this is the thing. You need to de delete the spells if you're still in them. Delete, delete, delete. Ask God to help you see clearly. So you, we have missed, we have dodged a bullet for, for, for the fact that Trump's in presidency and he literally dodged one because God's on his side because God's using him. And so I'm no, no saying that um, he was always of the light or that he was always, um, that like the the Republican Party has always been of the light. No, because politics sometimes literally has just been two wings of the same bird like it, like we all say. What I'm saying is that God's utilising it now in the position and the system to work his magic through Donald and through what he's doing. And so there's loads and loads of light beings, light workers here using this magic, using this election to get someone who's lightful in charge so that he can take out the evil in the night. We've all been working behind the scenes to do it. And that's the position that God's utilising to help bring this forward and make this quicker. And also the, the four years in between was actually a big wake up call for so many people to, to see the mainstream media for what it is, to see the absolute joke of a presidency and also guess who was running it behind the scenes, most likely the Antichrist. <laughs> And so we don't want to be allowing the Antichrist and all these minions to be having the power at all. So instead we want to be having light, lightful people in place. And yes, Jesus Christ is here on this plane. Yes, all the gods and goddesses are. And we're all here, all the light workers, all the angels, all of the star seeds, whatever you want to call them, higher beings of light have all incarnated from the inside out into human form to infiltrate, bring in the light and make this shift happen. And Donald Trump is part of it. The whole political thing is part of it. So what happened yesterday is the biggest blessing we could have ever had. I promise you. And so that's kind of where we're at. Um, Donald Trump's talking about keeping the borders closed and stuff. We've seen the issue that this illegal immigration has been causing. So... Really, really great things is coming for us. <laughs> thank you, lucky stars, that God's got our back always. And always thank God, pray for the good, pray for the protection and the safety of the good. And is Donald Trump gonna save you personally? It's not gonna save your soul. Jesus Christ didn't even come to save your soul personally. He came to teach you how to save yourself because at the end of the day, we all save ourselves. It's our own choices. We choose the light or the night. So no, I'm not saying that any of these are the saviors. We have to be our own saviors. But what I'm saying is you can't just, you can't just say, oh, no one's here for the light. You can only save yourself and that's it. And then just completely dismiss the assistance of people like Donald Trump, the angels, God, Jesus, who have all been here helping. It would be silly to, to just be like, oh no, it's, it's very easy to sit on the fence, you know, rather than actually take a side and, and stand for what is light. So that is all from me. So, uh...